Ever wondered why your feline friend decides to conduct their business outside the litter box? It's a mystery that has left many a cat parent scratching their head in bewilderment and concern. This peculiar behavior is more than just a nuisance. It's a puzzle that needs solving, a story that needs telling. In the world of cats, the litter box is more than just a bathroom. It's a territory, a refuge, a statement. So when your cat decides to sidestep the litter box and choose your brand new carpet instead, it's not just random mischief, it's a message. There could be a myriad of reasons behind this unusual conduct, medical issues, territorial markings, stress, or anxiety to name a few. Each one tells a story, a narrative of your cat's well-being and state of mind. Understanding these reasons is not just about keeping your house clean, but also about ensuring the health and happiness of your feline companion. So join us on this journey of discovery as we unravel the cat litter mystery. Stay tuned as we delve into the reasons behind this peculiar behavior and how to address it. Just like humans, cats too can have their off days. But when your feline friend starts pooping outside the litter box, it's not just an off day, it's a sign that something's amiss. So why might your cat be giving the litter box the cold shoulder? Well, it could be due to a variety of reasons. First up, we have medical issues. Sometimes health problems can make it uncomfortable for your cat to use the litter box. For instance, urinary tract diseases can cause painful urination, making your cat associate the litter box with discomfort. Similarly, arthritis can make it difficult for older cats to climb into high-sided litter boxes. And let's not forget gastrointestinal issues. Digestive problems could mean your cat needs to go more urgently and they just can't make it to the box in time. But it's not always about physical health. Cats can experience emotional distress too. Stress and anxiety, for example, can lead to litter box aversion. If your cat feels threatened or anxious, they might start avoiding certain areas of the house, including where the litter box is located. This behavior can also be a response to changes in the environment, like a new pet or a move to a new house. Then there's territorial marking. Cats are naturally territorial creatures, and they use their scent to signal their claim on certain spaces. If another cat is in the picture, your cat might start pooping outside the litter box to mark their territory. It's their way of saying, this is my space, stay out. Every cat is unique, and so are their reasons for avoiding the litter box. It could be one reason or a combination of a few. It's like a puzzle, and you're the detective trying to put the pieces together. But don't worry, you're not alone in this. A consultation with a vet can provide valuable insights and help identify the underlying issues. Understanding the reasons behind their behavior is the first step towards finding a solution. Remember, your cat isn't just being naughty, they're communicating in the only way they know how. By listening and paying attention, you can help them feel better and get back to using the litter box as they should. Sometimes a trip to the vet can solve the mystery. Indeed, there's a myriad of medical issues that could be causing your cat's unexpected litter box behavior. Let's delve into a few of these. First up, urinary tract diseases. These can make it painful for your cat to urinate. The discomfort can make them associate the litter box with pain, leading them to avoid it. So, if you notice your cat straining or crying out during urination, or if you find blood in their urine, it's time to see the vet. Next, we have arthritis. This condition can make it difficult for your cat to climb into or out of the litter box, especially if it's high-sided. Cats with arthritis may find it uncomfortable to squat in the litter, which can lead to accidents outside the box. If your cat is older and showing signs of stiffness or difficulty moving, arthritis could be the culprit. And then, there's the issue of gastrointestinal problems. Conditions like inflammatory bowel disease or constipation can cause your cat discomfort and lead to irregular toilet habits. If your cat is suffering from diarrhea, vomiting, or loss of appetite, it's crucial to seek veterinary advice. These are just a few of the medical conditions that can disrupt your cat's litter box routine. It's important to remember that these conditions are treatable, and early detection can make all the difference. A vet can provide a proper diagnosis and guide you through the best treatment options for your furry friend. This is why it's so important to consult with a vet when such behaviors persist. Changes in litter box habits are often the first sign of a medical problem. So if your cat is consistently avoiding the litter box, don't dismiss it as a behavioral issue right away. It could be their way of telling you that something's not right. Remember, our feline friends can't tell us when they're hurting, so it's up to us to notice the signs. Let's make sure we're doing our part to keep them healthy and happy. Cats are creatures of habit, but they're also sensitive to changes in their environment. This sensitivity often manifests in subtle ways, 
one of which could be a deviation from their usual litter box habits. Stress is a common culprit behind such changes. Cats are keen observers and can become stressed by alterations in their environment that may seem insignificant to us. A change in the household routine, a new piece of furniture, or even a shift in your work schedule can disrupt their sense of normalcy and cause anxiety. This anxiety can lead to behavioral changes, including avoiding their litter box. But what about when there's a new pet in the house? This can lead to a feline power struggle. Cats are naturally territorial creatures, and the introduction of a new pet, especially another cat, can be perceived as a threat. This can trigger territorial marking, a natural behavior where cats use their waste to signal their claim over a space. So, if your cat is suddenly pooping outside the litter box after a new pet has moved in, it might be a sign of a territorial dispute. And let's not forget about the litter itself. Cats can be picky about their litter. They have a preference for certain textures and scents. A sudden switch in your litter brand could make your cat uncomfortable, leading them to avoid the litter box altogether. Understanding these triggers and managing them can help your cat feel more secure. Maintain a consistent routine and introduce changes gradually. If a new pet is causing tension, ensure each cat has their own litter box and space. And when it comes to litter, remember, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Stick to the brand your cat is comfortable with. Understanding your cat's needs and maintaining a stable environment can help them feel safe and secure. With a little patience and understanding, you can help alleviate your cat's stress and keep their litter box habits on track. Now that we know why it happens, let's discuss how to make things right. Your feline friend might be giving you a tough time, but don't worry. We've got you covered with some easy and practical solutions. Firstly, consider adjusting the placement of the litter box. Cats prefer quiet, low-traffic areas where they can do their business in peace. If the litter box is currently situated in a busy part of the house, try moving it to a more secluded spot. However, ensure it's not too far out of the way, or your cat might find it inconvenient and resort to alternative spots. Next, let's talk about the litter itself. Cats can be pretty finicky about the texture and scent of their litter. Experiment with different types of litters to find the one your cat likes best. From clumping clay to biodegradable corn or wheat, there's a wide variety to choose from. Remember, whenever you're introducing a new type of litter, mix it with the old one gradually to make the transition smoother for your cat. Now, creating a calming environment is crucial. If stress or anxiety is the root cause, try incorporating calming elements like pheromone diffusers or relaxing music. A cozy bed or a favorite toy nearby can also help your cat feel safe and relaxed. However, it's important to note that if the issue persists despite these changes, it's time to consult with a vet. It could be a sign of a more serious medical issue that needs professional attention. In conclusion, dealing with a cat that is avoiding its litter box can be a bit challenging, but it's definitely not impossible. Remember, patience is key when dealing with our furry friends. With understanding and care, you can help your cat feel comfortable using their litter box again. Enjoyed this video? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content about your beloved pets. Also, feel free to watch the next video popping on your screen right now.